Somebody on Discord asked uh, what the rays below the player caps are for. Uh, they are separation rays that push the player up uh, when they touch something for stair stepping. And they actually don't work that well. Uh, they work well for stairs, but when I touch slopes with them, uh, there is this weird uh, jittering. Because they have slope sliding enabled, uh, so that you can just uh, climb this wall here. But the results are not great so far, so I'll have to see what I can do to fix this. Made a small tool uh, to quickly run my editor scripts. Uh, when I press D, it opens this pop-up menu with a search bar. Uh, that shows all of the actions from this folder here. This is sort of like the command palette that is built into Godot that you can also add your own commands to. Uh, but the difference is uh, with this menu, when you search for something and the results get reduced to just one item, it automatically gets executed. So here, for example, if I press 2 now, it will automatically execute toggle overdraw because it's the only thing that has the number 2 in it. And same for all of the other items in the menu. And when the menu gets big, I'll just start using numbers with more than one digit. And they'll basically simulate uh, submenus. So D11, 12, 13, etc. will become the first submenu, D21, 22, 23, the second submenu, and so on. This is, by the way, exactly how my quick menu blender add on works. Uh, except in Godot, I'm not gonna draw the submenus and I'll just pretend that they are there because I'm lazy as fuck. Trying to figure out stair stepping without uh, the separation rays now, uh, just by teleporting the player a little bit up and then forward. Uh, and uh, the problem now is that it teleports through all of the stairs at once. But the good news is that we are not trying to climb on walls anymore. And also we are not clipping through ceilings, uh, which was a problem with the separation ray approach. Okay, so I only really needed to move the player up. So basically I'm checking with uh, test motion if there is a step ahead that we can step on, and then if there is, uh, we're teleporting up a little bit. Now the problem is that we're also trying to step on walkable slopes. Um, so I guess I should probably also add a check that uh, there is no way to get there directly. Been experimenting a little bit with this PR that jitters the occlusion buffer a little bit to get rid of some problems. Because right now, because of the low resolution of the occlusion buffer, uh, there is this problem where you can find uh, some gaps that would falsely call the object behind it. Uh, now, with jittering, the situation is much better. Uh, on the left, for example, uh, there is now no problem at all. Uh, in the doorway, you can see a small flash when the gap becomes first visible uh, for a couple of frames. So it's still not 100% perfect. But I'm thinking that if we also add an option to shrink the occluder geometry at baking process a little bit, that would solve that remaining issue. Because it will give it a little bit more time to react. In case you don't know, occlusion calling is an optimization technique that prevents objects from getting rendered when they are behind some other object. And so the idea is that it should just work you should just be able to bake it once uh, and then not set anything up uh, manually after that. Uh, but yeah, some problems uh, need to be fixed first for that to work. What Godot supports? Godot supports Android, iOS, uh, Linux, BSD. Uh, we have the macOS platform. 